Hi guys, this is Philip from Reamped and today I'm going to show you a short introduction in Arduino for prop making. In my Cyberpunk 2077 Thermal Katana video I'm using an ESP8266 and you can also use Arduino to make a sketch for this board. However, there are some small things that you have to consider before using it actually. First off, you can get Arduino for free. Um, you can get it over the App Store or directly on their website. Once you've downloaded it and you started it, it's going to look something like this. I also want to point out I'm no expert on this. There are a lot of other videos that deal with these topics. But since I'm no expert at this, I wanted to show you how I go about it because sometimes some initial steps are missing for me when I look at some tutorials. Especially since I'm not using it very often, I always forget in between some parts and then I have to check it up again and then I find out a lot of things have changed and I want to try it and it's not working. That can be quite frustrating so I tried to cover the steps that were missing for me for some other videos which I hope will help you to quickly get into the topic. Uh, one thing that you have to consider is usually the board that I used for my prop is not pre-installed so you will have to add it to the list of boards that you can use basically choose which microcontroller you are working for and therefore first off those two are usually not in the list it will probably come with this list of arduino boards and if you go to the boards manager you can search for the esp8266 then you will get this package and you just have to install it. I usually use the version that is pre-selected here. That's working fine for me. And once you've installed this package, you will get, okay, close it down. You will get the chance to select the board here. And for us, we are using the D1, R2 and Mini. If I make some videos with other boards that I'm using, then I will go into that detail in my video. For the rest of the settings, I leave standard settings for now. That is fine. So anyway, this is just short introduction just to get you started with it. Another thing that I have to tell you is once you connect your microcontroller to the PC, you have to tell Arduino on which port you connected it. So at the moment, COM1 is the only port that I could select, but I know, I know because I see what I've plugged in, this is not the microcontroller. So I plug in my microcontroller next, and then, yeah, I get a COM port 4. And this is the one that I need to select if I want to upload something to this board. So make sure sometimes it's not working to upload and think why you can't connect to it. You will get an error message here. So check out that this is the right port to use. The next step is you will need a library for the LED strip. For that, you will go to include library, manage libraries. Again, taking some time. And I use the fast LED library so once found this you can also install this library once we've got that we can actually work on the sketch i'm shortly going to show you something in this sketch because it's empty and then i'm switching to my other sketch so basically the sketch consists of two main parts the setup and the loop setup is basically when the board is initialized when you start it up it will run this code once everything that is between this and this bracket. And later on, the loop, which is continuously running in the background, where all the code that needs to always be executed is going to be put. Anyway, next up, we switch to the sketch that I prepared for the Cyberbank Katana. I just showed you how to include the library that you need for the LED strip. So after you included this library, after you installed the library, you have to include it by using this line of code here. 
If you have not installed the library, it doesn't matter if you put this line here, it won't work. So first install the library, then write this line of code here, and then you're good to go. For the next part, we will define a few parameters. So these are some parameters that the library needs to work. The first one being the LED pin. You have to tell it where you connected the LED strip, the signal for the LED strip. In this case, I used the LED pin 4, which on the board that we are using is the D2 pin. The name is a bit confusing because here it's saying D2, but actually it's the GPI 04, it's the, the pin number 4. Next up, you will have to put in how many LEDs you are using. So after cutting down the strip to the length that I needed for the blade, I counted the LEDs, which in my case are 109. So you add this to the total number of LEDs on the strip. Next up is the brightness. That is a value between 0 and 255. The brighter it is, of course, the more power you will need. So I didn't go to the full strength, but choose whichever value you want to have. Next up is the LED type. In our case, the WS2812B, there are some predefined LED types in the library, like NeoPixel, but in our case, it's this one. This is the one we bought. This is the one we used for the Cyberpunk Katana. And in the end, the color order. So after you've got this, you will set up an array for the LEDs. This is the value that we added on top here. So it will create an array LEDs with the total amount of entries we defined here, 109. Then it's time for the setup. The setup is the thing that is one time executed once you started the board. And in this case, we set up the LED strip with this predefined command that connects to the library. So we'll give it the type, we'll, we will give it the pin, we will give it the color order and so on and so forth. The next function is something that I quickly wrote for making it flicker in the beginning once you started it up. And I added this here because I only want it to be run once. I add startup, down here is the entire function that I prepared. It's basically running two for loops that are going to randomly, that are going to randomly select LEDs on the strips. So basically it's this is the array that we set up here on the top. And I'm using the entry of the array at random and tell it to fade to black totally when starting up. The second loop is for slowly turning on the brightness. And in the end, I add a delay command so that once I turn on the blade, it's not directly finished with this loop. It just takes a bit of time. In this case, it's eight milliseconds. And by the way, if you need any more infos, Arduino has quite a good reference. So you can go to their website and check it out. So in this case, as I said, it's the delay in milliseconds you will find a lot of help here as well. But for my props in general, the most things I need are four loops, delays, and some LEDs. That is basically all for me. And if I ever have to use something else, I will cover it in another video. So now we have one time started up the blade. We're going to the next function, which is a loop. It's constantly running and it will in general, for my blade, always flicker randomly and not like totally cut to black, but fluctuate just a bit. So it's basically the same command as we use down here, just with a minor change to not completely flicker the entire time, just do it a bit. Now that I've basically set up the entire sketch that I needed for the blade, there's only one thing left to do, which is actually to upload it to our microcontroller. And in our case, basically I've already checked for mistakes. I know there are none. So I will just click to upload. That is going to compile the sketch. 
which you can do separately first if you want to do as well if you want to check from errors and then it's connecting to the board and uploading and once that's done everything should work otherwise you will get an error message here so i hope this is at least a little bit of help as i said i'm no expert at all i'm also a beginner myself for most of those things but i really wanted to show you how my approach was because very often for beginners it's a bit complicated to get into the topic <clears throat> but i want to encourage you if you want to make props that have a bit of extra value that are more believable that just have this extra touch then look through those things it's actually quite easy once you get to understand the basics and also for my props i most of the times just use the same commands all over it's working out i just use another order i just change a few things and everything is working you don't need much to make a prop working as long as it's something simple as led strips or in some cases maybe a servo motor that has to move one or two one or two things so don't get discouraged if you have some error messages here just keep on trying and if you have any questions leave them in the comments below i will try to answer them to the best of my knowledge and until next time i hope you enjoyed and see you soon